Welcome to Aptopia. Aptopia's online insights tool provides download, revenue, and SDK data for every mobile app and every publisher in the world. We cover the iOS App Store and Google Play, as well as the top 50 countries. Today, I wanna to walk you through our app and publisher pages. These pages represent some of our most detailed and most granular data on the site. As you can see, we are currently looking at the iOS app page for Iron Force, a successful war game built by our friends at Chilingo. The first element on this page is a graph showing daily worldwide downloads for this app. You should note that you can easily switch to view worldwide revenue as well. This will allow you to track daily downloads and revenue for your competitors and pinpoint interesting movement in their performance. Below this graph is one of the more powerful tables in our product. Here, you can see a country by country breakdown of downloads and revenue over the last 30 days. You can see how a particular country contributes to the overall worldwide total and get a feel for which countries are on the upward or the downward trend. Now, one of the most valuable insights you can get from this table is our revenue per user. For instance, if you look at Japan, you should note that it makes up 9 or 10% of downloads, but nearly 17% of revenue. This means that the average user in Japan is spending much more money in this game than in other countries. If you look at Germany, you'll notice the same trend as well. This is extremely valuable insight as it can and should inform user acquisition and advertising decisions for your business. For instance, the cost per install is likely to be less in Germany than in China or the United States. So knowing that the potential revenue per user for this type of game is higher in Germany represents a big advertising opportunity. Now, should you want to compare a few countries directly, you can quickly click on these countries in the table and you'll note that it graphs these countries' performance above. You'll also note that this table shows the top 10 countries for this app by default. However, you can easily expand down and see up to the top 50 countries for this particular app. The next element on this page is a detailed breakdown of revenue and revenue sources. When analyzing a competitor's app, one of the most important things you can learn is how and where they are making money. This visual quickly helps you understand what this app split is between in-app purchases and advertising revenue. This table lets you dive even deeper into understanding how that split changes country to country. This can help you learn where it makes sense for you to invest your time and marketing resources. You should note we can also help you understand what tools and what SDKs this particular app is using to monetize their users. However, this we'll dive deeper into in another video. Now, in addition to these detailed app pages, we also provide publisher and company level pages as well. If you scroll back up to the top of the page here, you'll note that you can quickly click on the Chilingo name to go directly to their iOS publisher page. You should also note that you can always search for any app or any publisher directly in our header. So let's try that. So here we are on Chilingo's publisher page. There's a lot of valuable information here. Now the first thing you should note is that at the top here we have a daily breakdown of downloads and revenue. This represents the aggregate total across all of Chilingo's 50 iOS apps. You can see how they are performing against their 30-day average and quickly pinpoint spikes and or specific trends. However, the most valuable element on this page is our inventory breakdown right here. Not only can you see Chilingo's total performance over the last 30 days, you can see a detailed breakdown of how each app contributes to its overall downloads and revenue totals. For instance, it's rather interesting to note that Tiny Troopers 2 averages nearly $3 in revenue per user. That is crazy. Now, if you want to look at all of Chilingo's apps, you can continue to expand this table down 
and view all of their iOS inventory. You can of course click into any of these apps and quickly land on their dedicated app pages should you want to dive deeper. In addition to the detailed inventory analysis, we also provide a variety of other valuable insights on Chilingo. For instance, in the left column, you can see an overview of how Chilingo monetizes their apps, as well as a country overview and analysis. Now, this country overview is really interesting because you can immediately see that while Japan does not represent a top five slot for downloads, it does actually bring in a higher percentage of their overall revenue. A trend we also noted when looking at Iron Force a few moments ago. Lastly, we provide a snapshot of company information, including relevant contact information for those looking to do publisher outreach. So, as you can see, we provide a wealth of information and tools allowing you to dive rather deep into your competitor's mobile app performance. We also provide a lot of additional value with our watch lists, SDK analysis, and daily industry reports. You should check out our other demo videos to learn what additional value you can get with these features. Thank you so much for your time.